Ah uh, yes, the Divert Glove. I don't feel that this glove needs counters, but I do think that we do need to highlight the combos that this glove can create, which are pretty crazy, not gonna lie to you. First up to bet is gonna be Mega Rock and Custom. This combo here is like the Zahando and Mega Rock combo, only you don't have to aim anything, you just hit the player. This works best when the server is not that full, and there's not many people on the battleground, because you can hit them from a very far distance, and they will travel directly to the nearest person, which is you, or your friend, being the Rock. This is an insane combo, and it is one of the best on this list. Now we move over to the LOL bomb combo. This combo isn't the strongest, but it can be a very funny one. You send them right over to an exploding bomb. <laughs> now, through testing on this, I realized that it's better to wait and delay your explosion, because if you do it too early, they're still ragdolled and won't take that knockback. So, just delay the explosion a little bit, and it'll be a great combo. Next up, we have the Engineer Glove, and this is fantastic for getting slaps. From what I could tell, placing down your sentries in this sort of a formation gives you the most productivity in slaps, but this is insane for getting slaps. You can trap so many people by just standing in the middle. If you get them a little too close, it makes it a little bit less efficient, but that's okay. You're still gonna get a lot of slaps with this. That is a super fun method to do with your friends to get slaps, but now let's move over to another deadly one. Do you see yourself as a baseball superstar? Let your friend send a fastball towards you and see if you can knock it out of the park. Very fun combo with friends. You hit them so far, we need to go into the clouds to search for them. Jokes aside, this can actually be a really fun method with your friends if you have them play the border of the map if you're in the cloud. Just sit a little bit far away from the edge, not enough to where they can jump and slap you out, but just far enough to where you are the closest person. If there's nobody on the map, you can send them even farther, which is hilarious, but you can also start close and back up and drag them off. That does work as well, but you also have to keep in mind, if you're gonna hit a one-shot, they can come and get you back. So watch who you hit towards your friend. Cloudy will work out very well for you. But now let's move over to Oven, which this is a very fun combo as well, because as soon as Divert hits the person over to you, just place them right into an oven and shoot them wherever you like. It's best if you have the oven placed down already, but if you aim the oven towards the edge, as soon as the players hit into the oven, it's wraps. <laughs> so if you ever want to become a future baker, now's your time to practice. But let's move over to the beatdown combos. This ability is fun, but it all comes down to timing. If you do it too early, you can end up just slapping them away, or if you do it too late, you could also just end up slapping them away, or they could end up hitting you. For this, you have to start the ability pretty much before your friend even slaps the person they're going after. But when it is timed right, you get this awesome combo where they're hit right at you, and you hit them into that nasty beatdown animation. Not the best combination on the list, but a fun one to pull off for sure. And now we arrive at overkill, which this is arguably probably the best combo on this entire list. This is one mean combination. You could hurdle your friends at somebody, or you could hurdle them at your friend, no matter what it is. As soon as your friend is involved with overkill, pretty much anybody in its path is just doomed. There's no time for reactions. Desync wins it all. So this is one of the deadliest combinations on this game right now. The overkill divert combo almost solidifies it as the number two combo in slap battles. Let me know what you think about that. But now let's test out the titan combos. Using this combo, you can have the Divert user slap the Titan, and then the Titan, once it reaches the destination, activate its ability and go Titan form and stomp them. But I think the better method of this is having the Divert user slap a user into an already Titan formed Titan, and then have the Titan stomp. Not a weak combination, and not a super powerful one, just one that keeps things fun in the arena. But let's advance over to the trap combinations. This combination makes me feel like I'm hitting a one-two punch on somebody. Funny to see, very fun to do, just make sure you're always on the opposite side of the trap of where your friend's hitting. It's funny to catch people off guard with that combo. But now let's move over to a combo that has a lot of potential for earning slaps. This and Engineer are probably the two best methods to get slaps using these combos, but if you are always moving around and walking, not in the direction of where the player is coming, you should always be safe and I don't think you'll be hit out. Diabolical duo. <laughs> if your friend is struggling with slaps, maybe this will help them out. But now the next one is really fun to do. Obby. All the Obby has to do is just place down the kill bricks and then have your friend slap a person and get dragged right over to you. You might get hit, but it's pretty much a guaranteed death if you're on the spinner. You can get very creative and start making creations to protect yourself from a slap. With Obby, there's just so many possibilities for death machines. <laughs> This deadly combo in the right hands poses a risk for every player in the lobby. Beware. Just like the Berserk Glove. Very deadly in the right hands, and would be considered a lower end overkill. As soon as the Divert hears the raw ability hit its max potential, it will send over an unwilling victim to be sent right over to the void. Nasty combination. It is really fun to use, and I can definitely see the comparison to one shots here. I would probably prefer to use the overkill glove, but if you don't have any of the others, that definitely works out. Now, let's go to a glove you're definitely not gonna want to use. You might be wondering why that is a little cryptic, but let me show you exactly why you don't use a duelist against a divert glove, because uh, the clip definitely speaks for itself. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, definitely don't use this against a divert user. But do use the retro glove. This combination works better if you send the retro user over to another player instead of the player being sent over to the retro user. It just works more efficiently because if you mistime things, the ragdoll will stay up and you'll miss completely. But both can work if timed right. Another thing you could do is use the bomb. This is a little bit faster. It doesn't have as much knockback, but it is faster to detonate. Just make sure you time it well. You're going to completely miss. All in all, this is a fantastic glove to use. It's not super overpowered and it's not super underpowered. This just creates a lot of funny moments. And another glove that can create funny moments like that is going to be the Tinker Glove. This is nowhere near a top combo, but it is a really funny one to send someone over right into a Tinker bot and make them just explode. Just a meme combo, if you will. <laughs> easily goober people with that. And you could easily goober people with Alchemist. A thing to note with this combination is you can't have the Invincible Potion activated. No, I did not just panic use a lethal potion and survive. <laughs> Don't worry about that, you didn't see it. But yes, for this, you cannot have the invincible potion activated because you are no longer targetable to the system, so you can't be magnetized. But like you just saw, you can have the divert user smack somebody over and you can throw a potion at them. You could also reverse that and send yourself into somebody else and throw whatever potion, like an explosion potion, a lethal potion, whatever potion you might like at them as either a hurtling potion comet or an unsuspecting Robloxian comet. I don't know where I'm going with that, but you understand. <laughs> There's so many different combinations that you can use with Alchemist, it's crazy. But one thing you can't use is a piano. This is the only combination on this list that requires three players, but you just need somebody with Blasphemy, Divert, and then the user that's going to be the human test subject. Have the Blasphemy user slap the friend, and then once the friend gets done walking to where the circle is very dark, the Divert user slaps the test subject into a random player, which then the test subject walks the amount so the piano drops right on their heads, making a funny little scene. Definitely a top tier meme one, but let's check one that is is more pushy. This is definitely a nasty combination. You can always send the woe user over, but it's better, I think, if you send the user over to the woe, because you can clip them like this and send them off the map, but either way you use it, it works out very well. I completely forgot about this, but there are two gloves that require three players, and detonator is going to be one. And if your squad has really, really good timing, which they have detonator, so they should, you can create mass panic with random flying heat-seeking missiles. <laughs> <laughs> While we're already on the subject of heat-seeking missiles, potato definitely belongs in that class. You just have to have immaculate accurate timing with your squad. The more you practice of the timing of when the explosion is going to happen with the potato, the better it's going to be. But this is a very funny glove to just randomly send heat-seeking potato men to random users who are so unsuspecting of what is about to happen. And while we're on the topic of throwing surprises, let's throw them a surprise party and bring some music and start the dancing. <laughs> With this combo, you can send the boogie over to surprise them, but usually it'll place the boogie a little bit farther back, so I like the method of sending them to the party, you know? Send out the invitations, but you know, they're forceful invitations. <laughs> And that's going to be our list for the combos that you can use with a Divert Glove. Shout out to all the homies that were helping us figure out the combos. We had Gravity, Hatmasters, Andrew, Sho, and Mew. I appreciate all of you. There are other gloves that you can use as combos, but I felt like these are the better highlight to show. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we all hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this. And we will see you in the next one. Later!